This is Medea, a figure from Greek mythology. She was the granddaughter of Helios, the sun god, uh, niece of Circe, another goddess, and she was also a sorceress who is a priestess of the goddess Hecate. I already posted a bunch of videos about the astrology for Friday the 13th, but her mythological story is also playing out with this astrology, so let's talk about it. It talks about this aspect, which is Lilith, opposite Saturn, trine Mars, sextile Lilith. It's from Wikipedia, it's just a little summary. So Medea plays the archetypal role of helper maiden, aiding Jason in his search for the Golden Fleece by using her magic to save his life and killing her brother to allow him to escape. So here we have Venus in two degrees of Virgo. Venus is the helper, Virgo is the maiden. This is the helper maiden. So she's aiding Jason in his search for the Golden Fleece. So we have Venus in Virgo, the helper maiden, sextile or helping mars the man in scorpio who is on a quest or a hunt to obtain a valuable possession the fleece using her magic to save his life venus in virgo is conjunct lilith the helper maiden who is also a sorceress medea is known in most stories as a sorceress but also as a witch and is often depicted as a priestess of the goddess hecate notice she's also a niece of the goddess circe in my first video i posted this list of goddesses that I associate with these placements and with these aspects, and it included both Hecate and Circe, which I associate with Lilith. I'm going to add Medea to the Lilith and Venus list because this mythology applies here as well. So back to the story, she used her magic to save Jason's life and killed her brother to allow Jason to escape. Mars, in its home sign of Scorpio, rules death. Scorpio is the sign that talks about murder and death. So once Jason gets the fleece, she abandons her native home of Colchis, flees westward with Jason, where they eventually settle in Corinth and marry. Euripides' 5th century BCE tragedy Medea depicts the ending of her union with Jason when after 10 years of marriage, Jason abandons her to wed King Creon's daughter, Crusa. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And Medea and her sons from Jason are to be banished from Corinth. Saturn rules society. Lilith rules getting banished from society. In the biblical story, Lilith was the first wife of Adam before Eve who got banished from the Garden of Eden for her insubordination. Lilith, alone in the wilderness, decided to return to the Garden of Eden so that she would submit to Adam and have her rightful place in the garden back. But when she got back, he was already laid up with Eve. He already had a new girl in her bed. So she was jealous and in order to get her revenge on Adam for switching to a new girl so quick, she stole his seed and then used it to create demon children. Really fucked up. Instead of Adam abandoning Lilith for Eve, we have Jason abandoning Medea for King Creon's daughter, Crusa. And in this story, Medea gets her revenge by murdering Crusa with poisoned gifts. Then she murders her own children before fleeing to Athens. What a fucking mess. So I'm just saying, I see Medea's story playing out in this aspect. Maybe some sort of dangerous quest that results in you losing something in order to gain the item you were on the quest for, possible abandonment or banishment or exile from a group or societal organization, and possibly feeling the need to exact revenge for being exiled. So the mythology of Lilith is definitely playing out here, but it's interesting to see how it applies to the mythology of Medea as well, with a slightly different version of a very similar story, especially since she's related to two of the goddesses that I listed on the original video about this aspect. Whoa.